everyone and welcome to my channel, La Di Da. If you noticed, my studio is like a little more cramped than usual. And there's all these boxes stacked up here. And the reason for this is because my family and I are moving. We are in Ontario right now. I live in Toronto, big city, and we're going to move to Nova Scotia. The real estate agent wants someone to come in and paint. So we have to take everything down off the walls. We have to leave our house for a couple of weeks and we have to stay in like an Airbnb. It's COVID, so like, they don't do open house anymore. We just do a week full of appointments. So we will have to be out of our house while they paint, while they stage, and then while they show our house. Oh my God, there's so many things to do. It's really overwhelming when I think about it. Like every closet, every drawer, everything needs to get cleaned out, packed up, or donated or thrown out. It all has to go. It really makes me want to live more of a minimal list kind of life because it's just too much things. I don't know if you guys have children, but children bring in so much stuff. Stuff. They have so much stuff. They never want to throw it away. They also have a cat that we have to like drag around. It's a poor thing. <laughs> he's been sleeping in here in the boxes because he's like, uh, you're taking me too. You're not leaving me here. <laughs> So it's exciting and nerve wracking and overwhelming all wrapped up into one. It's the big move. <laughs> I will show you the house before and then I will show you after when they stage it and paint it. I just want to say that my house doesn't normally look like this. I don't live with boxes and bins all over my house. This was just because we had started to pull everything out and pack things away to get ready for the painters. I don't live in squalor. That's all I'm trying to say. Then after, everything looks so much more open and bright and airy, and it just looks less crowded, more spacious. It's really nice. Okay, moving on to the kitchen. This is before. It's pretty messy. They really didn't do much different to the kitchen. It's just been tidied up. Next, we're moving on to the laundry room. It just became the ultimate dump zone during this. And then after everything's cleaned up, they put a chair there so you could have it as a workspace. I never even thought to make it like a desk. We always just used it as like a folding table. Okay, let's go upstairs to the second floor. And here's the before. It's quite messy. Also, the walls are like yellow and the closet is orange. <laughs> what was I thinking? Anyways, I thought that this closet was tidy. Wow, wait till you see after. Look at this. Whoever thought I could fit a seating area in my bedroom? Like, wow. And the dresser's on the other side now and it looks great over there. And check out the closet. Ta-da! It's an office. Wow, like I never thought to do anything like that. Now we're moving into, this is where my studio was. It's the office or the spare room. And there's really not much going on in here. Check this out. They made it like a full on bedroom with a, a chair and two little end tables and it looks great. Now the last bedroom is the kids' bedroom. This is Ruby's bedroom, and as you can see, it's a disaster. And yeah, you can see her, she's back there, not doing anything, just sitting in her messy, messy room. <laughs> and then afterwards, all the mess is cleaned up. They changed the position of the bed, which was great. I never thought to put it there. And, um, there's another seating area and the dresser's over on this side. Lots of natural light coming in and all, all the walls are white. They painted all the walls white, but because they're using nice color on like the bedding and the artwork, 
it really works and looks great. The last thing I'm going to show you is out back. And this is where they put out some patio furniture and it looks beautiful. Now, I didn't go down to the basement. We had a tenant living down there and I didn't even think to go down there. It's just like that space doesn't exist in my mind because there's always been someone else living there. Anyways, you'll just have to believe me that it looked really cool. <laughs> we listed the house and in one week it was sold. So here's cheers to new beginnings and, and I thank you all for watching and tuning into my channel and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.